You'd think I'd already know this about word count. Well, hey there, welcome back. I see everything as a system, not just businesses and processes, but also people and how they manage their lives. I believe life is made of three things, time, energy, and resources. And we're always manipulating and using and dealing with those things in every single day of our lives. That passion is what caused me recently to have a very valuable and meaningful moment. Recently, I sat in on a stroke support group at a rehabilitation hospital. Now, I had the full blessing of the staff and administrator to allow me to do that. And my intention was to sit quietly, take notes and absorb because I thought people who were dealing with a stroke and their family members certainly would have a shift in their time, energy, and resources. And it would make it even clearer that life is made of this. There were people with one stroke, two strokes, three strokes, but this dear lady who had seven strokes is the person that truly gave me a learning moment. You see, she was clever enough to bring with her a pad that she had already typed a number of things onto. She intended to share, like some of the others, her experience, her wisdom, her knowledge, what she had gone through with these seven strokes. And the staff, of course, read that out loud because that was just easier. Unfortunately, that information was quickly used up and the conversation quickly changed to a number of other things. Well, she wanted to add more. She had something that she wanted to actively add. So she started to type on the pad, but she could only type so fast. And her frustration grew because she could feel, at least to me it seemed this way, she could feel that the room was waiting. It was silent as she slowly struggled to type out fairly long, complex thoughts. So she decided to speak. It was with much effort that she did speak, and she chose her words very carefully because it was a struggle to get them to come out at all. And finally, after much visible frustration with her hand, she motioned to her lips and said, talk hard. And she pressed her hand against her chest, and then she drew it down her eye and said, Sorry, but I could understand her fine, and I'm sure everyone else could. You see, what this dear sweet lady with seven strokes was teaching me was, it wasn't that she wasn't using enough words, it's that we use too many. As someone who writes, I deal with the length of communication all the time. There's a difference between a short article or a sentence or an email or an epic novel. And recently I had to really embrace what a novella was. And a novella, by the way, is a much smaller version of a novel. It has far fewer words. And when I wrote The Devils in the Details, I kept looking back to it and thinking, this is too small. And I remember when I wrote The Sword and the Sunflower, my editor told me, Mark, it is as long as it needs to be. And so when that came out at around 400 pages, I just said, okay, it's done. But when we're speaking to other people and we're conveying meaningful ideas, we don't speak in novels or chapters or even paragraphs. Sometimes we do and we shouldn't. And I think that's what I learned. I learned that really short phrases, really direct things can really get the point across. So if you're dealing with your clients or your boss or your employees or coworkers or family or someone you very much love, Think about phrases, think of the impact of phrases like, I appreciate that you're my client. You're important to me. I know I can help you. 
I'd like to get paid now. And I love you. This podcast is a perfect example of trying to use just the right amount of words. It's a struggle for me sometimes to keep some of these ideas within the 10 minute limit. And you'll find that I apologize every so often if I go over even to 11 minutes. Because what I want to give you is a small digestible bite to use. I don't want you to have a podcast episode that's an hour long in which there's only two minutes of information. I'm the same way about my self-help books. I want you to have digestible little bites. I want you to have a bullet point to take with you so that you can say, oh, that was worth my time. And I figure that 10 minutes is worth your time. You can empty the dishwasher, go, you know, get in your car and listen to the podcast on the way to work and so forth. So in the spirit of not using too many words, I'll just say to you, I appreciate you as someone who takes the time to listen to this. I hope you keep listening. I hope you tell your friends. And I hope you give me a good review when you feel like it. Thank you. Living life every day, late at night, not okay. All I want and I pray, all I need are some better days. Yeah. Thank you for listening. If you enjoyed it, I'd appreciate a like, share, or subscribe. Feel free to reach out and better days. Not okay, all I want and I pray, all I need are some better days.